tenure is one feature of higher education that is often misunderstood. Understanding how tenure impacts faculty, administration, and the quality of education at Iowa's public universities is important. Tenure is a contractual employment status granted to eligible faculty members to encourage the free exchange of ideas. It is a form of job security that supports expanding knowledge to the benefit of all society and academic freedom. The concept of tenure comes from the Statement of Principles on Academic Freedom and Tenure from the American Association of University Professors, or AAUP. First published in 1940, the AAUP's Statement of Principles established the attributes of tenure that are in place at the majority of higher education institutions, including all three public universities in Iowa. Faculty members hired to tenure-track positions go through an extensive probationary period, usually six or seven years, prior to earning tenure. During this time, these faculty members undergo comprehensive reviews to ensure they are meeting the expectations demanded of a tenured faculty member. Evaluations include annual reviews by academic departments and regular assessments of the candidate's work by experts and leading authorities in the candidate's field, extensive portfolios of student assessments and letters from former students are compiled and used as evidence of the candidate's qualifications. Tenure is awarded only after an affirmative recommendation based on this years-long process. Tenured faculty still undergo regular performance evaluations. These evaluations include annual departmental reviews, deep reviews with external input from field-appropriate experts every five to seven years, and annual student evaluations of teaching. Tenure does not mean a faculty member has a job for life or cannot be fired. All faculty, tenured or not, have set expectations in terms of their teaching, research, service, or clinical obligations. Failure to meet those obligations can and does result in just cause terminations. Program cuts also can result in the elimination of tenured faculty position. 55% of full-time faculty at Iowa's public universities are tenured or currently in the probationary period. The share of tenured and tenure-track faculty varies between the three universities based on faculty classifications. For example, just 35% of faculty at the University of Iowa are tenured or on the tenure track because a large number of UI faculty members are clinical faculty and are not tenure eligible by design. The Board of Regents receives a faculty activities report every two years. Faculty activities vary significantly by the type of appointment and represent a wide mix of teaching, research, scholarship, clinical work, and service. The Faculty Activities Report details the range of activities in which faculty members engage on a weekly basis and the amount of time doing this work, including time spent teaching and advising students. The majority of teaching at Iowa's public universities is done by tenured or tenure-track faculty. Non-tenure-track faculty, including lecturers and adjunct faculty members, teach nearly 40% of student credit hours. Less than 10% of teaching is led by graduate students at the Regents institutions. Tenure is an important and essential feature of higher education that encourages free exchange of ideas and academic freedom. Tenure helps create and maintain the academic atmosphere necessary for educating Iowa students. A strong, comprehensive tenure process is crucial for the future of Iowa's public universities.